thanks for stopping by. I'm treading on dangerous ground today with this video. Um, I'm gonna be doing a barbecue sauce uh, video. And um, I realize that, you know, barbecue sauce, it's a real regional thing. Everybody has their own favorites or what they think barbecue sauce should be. Uh, me personally, you know, I've been to all the barbecue meccas uh, in the country and I like barbecue, man. I'll, I'll eat vinegar based from North Carolina, you know, the Kansas City, anything. I, I just like barbecue. Uh, my own personal preference is uh, I like a little bit of a sweet, a little tangy and savory, and then a little bit of warmth as it hits the back of the palate. Um, that's what this sauce is, the, the one I'm going to be making. Basically, I have two go-to sauces that I make. Uh, one is just kind of a real basic uh, ketchup vinegar based sauce and then the other is more of a glaze and what I what I did a, a couple months ago I started tinkering around with my favorite qualities from both sauces and I kind of merged it together into one sauce and and I personally am very happy with it um, it can be tweaked uh, you know by adding more peppers to make it hotter it, you know it's a real kind of a just a unique flavored sauce and um, I'm going to be the first one to admit there's a lot going on in this the recipe there's a lot of uh, ingredients but um, they all work together well and, it, and it's worth it believe me it's worth it so hope you guys enjoy it um, let's get cooking all right, so let's get going here all right so first ingredient is going to be 16 ounces of apple cider vinegar Like I said, there's a lot of stuff going in this sauce, but it's good. Trust me. Three and a half cups of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of uh, sea, or I'm using kosher salt here. Two tablespoons of um, onion powder, and this is onion powder, not onion salt. Okay, about two cloves of chopped garlic. Two uh, tablespoons of celery seed, and again, celery seed, not celery salt. One tablespoon of black pepper, and if you want, again, you can pump up the amount of black pepper you want to give more heat. One tablespoon of paprika. Two tablespoons of uh, lard, and this is pork lard. Two tablespoons of uh, ground mustard. got two tablespoons here of uh, pickling spices and I've added um, one extra teaspoon of the coriander seed, the whole coriander seed. Got here one um, tablespoon of crushed red pepper. Again, if you want more heat, just add more crushed red pepper. Okay, I got uh, three cups of good old ketchup. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of liquid smoke. And guys, I, I, you know, I used to be really, really against liquid smoke until I watched Alton Brown make it. And uh, then I looked at the ingredients on the bottle because I, you know, I was thinking it was just a bunch of chemicals and stuff, but really all it is is water and concentrated smoke. That's all it is. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is um, bring this up to a boil, stirring, making sure everything gets all nice and mixed up, and then I'm going to let it simmer for probably about 35, 40 minutes to, you know, to get it reduced. And uh, I'll check back on it with you guys uh, after it's basically done, all right? So we're just gonna bring it up to boil right now. All right, guys, um, so it's been simmering for, you know, about 35 minutes and it's done. Um, just wanna kinda show you. 
Now it's still hot, so the sauce is going to set up a little bit, get a little bit thicker. But you can see, I mean, it's uh, got a nice consistency. The first thing it hits you, you know, your uh, the palate is that sweet, but then all of a sudden it starts just warming up slowly, and it's got a really just a nice, you know, tang to it. So anyway. Um, be seeing you on my next video. Like I said, I got a smoke coming up in a couple days, and this is going to be part of the part of that cook. So, see you then.